morning guys welcome back to the all black fan page it's me your boy max hosting the channel and today's video is going to be quite different in comparison to other videos i'm going to be predicting the british and irish lions 41 man touring squad last year that was the size of their touring party and so based on the size of their touring party from last season 2017 i'm going to predict their new one and i'm going to replicate it using the same amount of players per position as the last time so I'll use three hookers six props five locks the exact same as 2017 and using that formula I'm going to decide who should be um, the best picks for Warren Gatlin going forward this is going to be quite interesting because Warren Gatlin would now have developed kind of a trusted 15 if you will he would have developed a first 15 of players who are experienced that have been on previous Lions tours such as Alan Wynne Jones, who we will talk about later. So, firstly, for the video, I'm going to predict who the hookers are. I think the hookers are going to be Luke Cowan, Dickey, Ken Owens, and Jamie George. Personally, I would I would start Luke Cowan, Dickey. I think Luke Cowan, Dickey is quite strong. He's got an eye for the try line. He throws very well. Jamie George is starting to run thin on form because Saracens haven't been playing too much. But there aren't really too many world-class hookers going around up north in the UK. So I'm thinking that Ken Owens will join him off the back of the bench. He'll be a nice calm mind to close off the game from the bench as he is now 34 years old. And I believe he's played about 80 tests. Then if um, somebody's injured, we can get Jamie George in. He knows how it's been in a World Cup final. He's been in a Lions tour before and started the three tests. So with those two, you're going to get a lot of experience and then you've got the in-form player in the form of Luke cowan Dickey, who has recently become a regular starter for England. So for the tight head props, I have Thomas Francis, I have Kyle Sinclair, and I have Tide Furlong. Tide Furlong's had a, a massive resurgence in form now that he's come back from injury, and even though he missed most of last year out with injury, I was still fine with calling him the best number three in the world because he is the best number three in the world. And I don't have any qualms about him starting for the Lions again in the 2021 tour. Um, Kyle Sinkler, I see coming into the tour in a similar role to his role from last time. Only now he's a bit more experienced. So it may be a bit harder for South Africa to kind of get under his skin. Kyle Sinkler has been very valuable to England. And he'll be a really good guy to bring the impact and mobility off the bench. Then with um, Thomas Francis, you're going to have a real strong guy that you can be quite reliant on in terms of the scrum <clears throat> now for the loose heads i've picked my favorite scottish player who's rory sutherland he's had quite a lot of injury setbacks but they haven't derailed him he's a very strong man he's tough in the carry he's a huge scrummager he's always going to win you the scrum i've then got win jones who is perhaps the form player um, of the Welsh side right now and I've also got Alice Genge who can be a bit controversial because of his discipline but you know I'd take him over the current form of Marco Vernapola any day um, it's looking like the Vernapola brothers really are past their best and Alice Genge I think is the future of the English loose head prop jersey um, Joe Marler I don't see making the tour Kean Healy I think is getting on a wee bit and so I'd like to see Wynne Jones, who's the form player, starting at number one. And I'd then like to see Rory Sutherland coming off the bench because he is my favourite Scottish player. We're now going to get into the locks. Um, I don't personally believe any kind of utility forwards are going to go on the tour. And that kind of segues me into a giveaway that I'm doing over on my Instagram page. So me and the Rugby News Magazine from New Zealand have teamed up and we're going to be giving away a six-month membership to someone who likes the posts, follows the All Black fan page, and follows them on Instagram. As you can see, this is the April issue. It was a really good read and it's got articles from people like Tony Johnson, Aaron Smith, and um, even Ian Jones who was saying that locks should be specialists. Ian Jones was arguing about how you can't kind of stuff around and turn locks into flankers, turn flankers into locks. You need to have specialists because locking combos are really important. Now that I'm kind of done with this, we promotion I've got, that's going to segue me back into the British and Irish Lions because Maro Atoje and Alan Wynne Jones have formed a partnership from four years ago when they were on the Lions tour together. They complemented each other very well. Jones was a bit more of a workhorse, whereas Atoje is someone that's going to make a lot of turnovers and maybe get a couple things into his highlights reel while he's on the tour. 
So they complemented each other very well. And since Jones is still playing and Atoje is still playing quite well, um, I don't have any doubts that they're going to be the locking combo again. And as Jones was saying, you know, that's very important about your locks. So why not keep them going? Um, now the other locks, excuse me, I'm just reading off my phone. Um, I think will be James Ryan, Ian Henderson, and Johnny Gray, who is from Scotland. Um, quite a few Irish guys in there. Um, no Courtney Laws. I think that Ryan will probably be coming off the bench for the South African Tests. And Ian Henderson's a very experienced player who I can see perhaps captaining the British and Irish Lions in some of their midweek tests against teams like the Stormers and the Bulls. Now, on to the loose forwards. Um, CJ Stander is the only player in my eyes who kind of walks into the starting lineup. Um, Talupe Faletau, a lot of people believe, are getting back to his best, but for me, you can't look past CJ Stander. Um, he's about to retire and post Lions tour, he'll never play rugby again because he's going back to settle down with his family in South Africa. So, how amazing would it be for him? Not only that, but, you know, he's in form, so get him in there, start him at number eight. You need size, you need physicality against South Africa, and CJ Stander's going to do that. I then think having dual open sides would probably be the best way to go forward. So alongside Stander and Felitao, the two number eights, I've got uh, Justin Tipperick and Tom Curry. Tipperick's been on tour with the Lions before, so he'll know what to expect from Warren Gatlin's coaching. Um, Tom Curry's really a shill in because of his form, really. Um, I'd have him at six, so I could have Hamish Watson player of the tournament for the Six Nations in there as the open side. He's an absolute battering ram. Not only is he going to really dominate physically in regards to the tests, but he's also going to stand up to the likes of Peter Steph Dutoy and he's going to start making a lot of turnovers, which you're desperately going to need against South Africa. I've also got Sam Underhill penciled in. I think Jamie Ritchie might be a dark horse for the tour and I think Jamie Ritchie's going to go. I also think Aaron Wainwright is perhaps a bolter. He's not going to play in the tests at all, but I think Aaron Wainwright's also going to go. He's quite a good player, and he's possibly a future Welsh captain, I'd even go as far as saying. So I would start Stander, Curry, and Watson kind of as my um, as my starting loose forwards. Then I'd probably look at someone like Jamie Ritchie, who can cover the blind side to come off the bench. Because if Stand is injured, you don't really want a third open side on the bench, do you, mate? Um, on to the nines. That's a bit of, uh, more of a hard pick. Because in my opinion, no player in the UK is actually a world-class scrum half. Um, not even in Ireland either. I think Connor Murray's passed it. But I do think Connor Murray's going to go on the tour as he's really earned that respect and that trust from Warren Gatland. I think Thomas Williams is going to be the starting nine. He's been quite good for Wales as of late. And um, I do think Gareth Davis will be the guy to come off the bench. If one of those guys succumb to injury, um, Gatland will probably look at bringing in someone that he trusts in the form of Murray because he knows that he can rely on Murray to understand his coaching. Um, the first fives, um, I lock Owen Farrell in at first five. You need a big center that's going to make some massive hits and that's going to draw in defenders so you can make space for those classy outside backs that we all know that Ireland, um, England, Scotland and Wales all have. And yes, I do think Scottish outside backs will be going. <laughs> but anyway, um, Owen Farrell, I think, has to be in there. He's experienced. A lot of people think he's not in form anymore, but he knows how to take on South Africa. He's played them many times. He's a very capable player, and I think that everyone's really underestimating him. We all know that he likes to bring in his best form for the best moments, and I don't have any doubts that he's going to do it again. Um, Finn Russell's likely going to come off the bench for Farrell, and I think Jonathan Sexton perhaps will go as well, even though some people think that um, think rather that Dan Bigger should be going. But let's be real, you got to have experience, and I think Gatlin's going to have a bit of bias towards Sexton, because... Sexton really changed things up in 2017 for the Lions. The midfielders, Robbie Henshaw and George North, are my starting combo. As I was saying, you need strong, strong midfielders. And Robbie Henshaw really fills out that 12 role for me. He's going to be a great carrier since Manu Tuolangi's always injured. And George North has moved to centre since he's got a bit slow. But he's kind of starting to get back into his best form ahead of the Lions tour. So if George North is injury-free for once, 
um, I'd really love to see him starting at 13. I then think um, Ollie Lawrence from England was one of the, the few bright lights for them over their disappointing Six Nations. I think Gary Ring Rose is a bit more of a traditional option at 13, and I think he's possibly going to be wearing Jersey 23. I think Henry Slade is also real versatile, and that'll be really important for them on tour. Slade can play pretty much anywhere in the back line. And then um, I think Nick Tompkins is a very classy player, and he can distribute, but he can also make the hits and score the tries and you know get a bit of a highlight reel going. Then to the outside backs... Duhan Vandermeuver, yeah, he was born in South Africa, his brother's a former Springbok, but mate, he has changed Scotland's game for the best. He has been brilliant, he's gone straight into the 11 jersey, I think, although a lot of people will argue against that because they want Anthony Watson in, I think Duhan Vandermeuver is probably the best back in the possible line selections that you could choose from right now. Um, I then think number 14 is going to be Louis or Lewis Reese Zammett. I'm not sure how his um, first name said, whether it's Louis or Lewis. Um, Stuart Hogg, I think, will go on the tour. And I think Stuart Hogg's going to be starting at fullback. The rest of the outside backs, I believe, will be Johnny May. He's so fast. He's brilliant. I think Jacob Stockgale is going to be a good option to cover both the left wing and fullback because you're going to need a bit of um, the interchangeability, as I was saying before. I then think Anthony Watson will go, but he won't be starting. Um, he's a previous tourist. He knows Gatland and how he coaches. And I think Watson will be a good person to bring in if someone's injured. Um, I then think Josh Adams will go. Gatland loves Josh Adams. We all love Josh Adams. And um, he's just a very good back who you don't know what's going to do when he has the ball. So these are the players who I think will go on the British and Irish Lions tour. Um, you're more than welcome to comment, say who you would pick to start. Obviously, this is just my opinion. It's all subjective. Um, remember to go over to my Instagram, like the post, because I am giving this away, remember, um, with Rugby News New Zealand. Follow them as well, so that way you are entered. And obviously, that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. As I was saying, this is only my opinion, so don't get too harsh. And I will see you later.